A couple of weeks ago, the folks at Dehancer reached out to me and offered a free license to test their film emulation plugin. They didn't pay me a dime for this video. So rest assured, what you are about to hear and see is my honest opinion and experience with Dehancer. For those who might not know, Dehancer is a plugin designed to bring the magic of analog film to your digital projects. It's packed with features that mimic the look and feel of classic film stocks, complete with green, halation, bloom and other effects that make your footage look like it was shot on vintage film. The test plugin I have works with Premiere Pro. However, Dehancer is available for a wide range of both photo and video editing programs. You can download the plugin from their official website. The link is down in the video's description. And don't forget to use our coupon code EDITINGCOP to get 10% off. By the way, Dehancer is also available on iOS, so if you are an iPhone or iPad user, you can bring the same high quality film emulation features to your mobile editing workflow. Now, once you download, install and apply the plugin to your clip, you'll notice it's divided into several options. Each of these options is crucial for creating the vintage film look that Dehancer promises. Personally, I use the halation, bloom and film damage effects 90% of the time because I love the dreamy look they create. Different projects require different settings. So let's take a quick look at what each option does. First, we have the input setting. The test footage I am using already has normal contrast, so I'll simply select Rec 709. However, if you shoot in log, you can either delog the footage manually with a log to Rec 709 LUT or you can choose a camera profile from the range of high quality custom camera profiles available. Since our test footage is properly exposed with the correct color temperature, I won't adjust the input correction settings. Next, we have the film profile setting. Here, you'll find a variety of film stock emulations, each mimicking the unique characteristics and color profiles of different types of classic analog films. You can scroll through and try different film profiles until you find one you like. My favorite is Kodak Pota 400, so I'm going to go with that. The push-pull option can be used to adjust the film exposure. So far, everything looks good, so I'm gonna leave it as it is. Moving on, the film developer setting is quite interesting. This setting helps recreate the unique look that film gets from different development methods. In real life, the choice of chemicals and development time can change the appearance of the film. By adjusting this setting, you can make your digital footage look like it was developed with different techniques. You can make the dark areas darker and the light areas lighter and change how the colors look making them more vivid. Enabling the film compression setting reduces the harshness of very bright parts making your footage look like it was shot on film which naturally compresses the highlights. Then by adjusting the expand setting you can bring back some of the depth and richness to the image. The dark areas will look properly dark but still detailed and the bright areas will be bright giving the footage a more natural and dynamic appearance. Different types of photo paper or printing techniques can change the way colors and contrast appear. This is where the print setting come into play. It simulates the effect of printing your film onto different types of paper or using different printing processes, giving your footage the traditional film look. There are multiple profiles to choose from. I'll go with the Kodak 2383 print film for a classic vintage look. All the dehancer settings I have talked about so far are more than enough to give your footage a beautiful film look. However, you can take things a step further by fine-tuning the grain, halation, bloom and vignette settings. Grain mimics the natural grain structure of film, while halation and bloom create that soft glowing effect often seen in vintage films. Lastly, vignette adds a subtle darkening around the edges drawing the viewer's focus to the center of the frame. There is no one-size-fits-all setting, so feel free to tweak the individual settings to suit your creative vision. Next, we have Film Red. If you watch an old movie, you'll notice that the brightness and colors aren't completely steady. There are slight, almost unnoticeable shifts that give the film a lively, breathing quality. By using this dehancer setting, you can add this effect to your digital footage, making it look like it's being projected from a real film reel with all the charming imperfections that come with it. Additionally, you'll notice that old movies are slightly shaky, 
This is because the film strip is moving through the projector. By using the gate weave setting, you can add this effect to your digital footage, making it feel more like a real vintage film projection. Both the film breadth and gate weave settings have four different profiles to choose from. The smaller the profile, the greater its intensity. Then there's a monitor option, which helps keep the exposure levels in check. Overexposed areas will be filled with red, while underexposed with blue. Lastly, the output setting gives you a single slider control to increase or decrease the total impact of the Dehancer plugin on your footage. Overall, I find Dehancer to be an impressive plugin, especially for those who are passionate about recreating film look. The variety of settings and the level of control it offers is outstanding. However, I must admit that I don't use all its features and often find myself sticking to the Halation and Bloom effects, which are my personal favorites. For those who have a deep interest in film emulation and want to explore the full range of Dehancer's capabilities, this plugin is a game changer. But if you are like me and prefer a simpler approach, you might not use every feature it offers. Nonetheless, even the limited features I use have made a significant difference in my project and I highly recommend giving Dehancer a try. Don't forget, you can download the plugin from the link in the video description and use our coupon code EDITINGCORP to get 10% off. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.